Hey, Vincent here, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna talk about a build that I did previously, but I improved upon it during the Diablo 4 open beta. The Storm Werebear Quick Shift build is what I'm calling this one. It's pretty much the same, but I kind of tweaked it to make it better. So this build all about the power of Earth, Wind, and combined with agility and the power of the Werebear for devastating effective build. All right, I reset it my skill tree just to show what I'm clicking through to navigate through this. Yes, the beta is almost over. But I'm probably going to do this while the launch happens as well. So hopefully this video will help you out. So first you want the first generator, Wind Shear. It's, I feel like it's the best. I started off using Earth Spike. I even switched to this. Um, these are all three melee range. This one do hit between walls and stuff. But it's not as good because this is super quick. You just It comes out hella quick and it's like a bullet. Okay, It's a wind bullet. It comes in, it pierces, it hit multiple enemies. And then this also gives you vulnerability. Right? We know that Storm Strike... A lot of people use it for the vulnerability node, but this one, 20%, but four seconds. And you want the one that gives you spirit regen, because mostly you're just using generator for spirit regen. This actually can have more potential of giving you more spirit, especially when you're fighting mobs and stuff. All right, so we only need one point in that, and then you're just going to max out pulverize. All right, max it out. This is your core skill, your main damage dealer. So obviously you want this one and you want the enemy to stun for two seconds. So this will, since you're going to get overpower guaranteed every 10 seconds, you can do more damage. <laughs> yeah, it's not like the best thing compared to other ca characters, but it does do a lot of damage, but every 10 seconds. All right, that's the downfall. Hopefully they, they tweak it or something. I don't know. <laughs> so after you get that, you're going to want Earthen Bulrock. And then you want to get the one that actually flies out for extra damage. This one's nice and all, so it's up to you. I kind of like the extra damage coming out, but this is also good. Especially when you get uh, when we look at equipment later. So we're going to get enough points just so we can get to this area here. So we're not going to care too much about the companion. No companions here. So we got five points in that. We want to get trample. Now we want to be able to get to this area. Right, so we're gonna get trample. We're gonna get the fortify. This will be your main fortifying skill, your main fortify building skill. So we want to get up there. We need one more point. Um, I suggest getting this one, just like level one, because you're gonna be quick shifting back and forth, and every time you do, you get two spirit. So you're gonna like since your basic generator is a human require you to be in human form and you'd be pulverizing most of the time and you can also trample you'd be swapping in and out right and then once you get here you can want to at least get one point in this and then this one also boosts your fortify as you keep switching in and out and the ultimate you want is cataclysm uh petrify is okay and all but it requires you to okay so per petrify Freezes everything, but then when you hit them, it breaks out and then, you know, back normal. But they get that extra damage, right, from the Petrify. Um, I forgot exactly what it's called, but you get the extra damage. Um, make extra crit damage if you can crit. If you have good crit, then maybe you can consider this. I probably would consider changing to this eventually, like in launch. But for now, as you're going through leveling up, this is the better one. It's Storm Magic. So if you have Storm skills, it'll help out. So we're going to go to a dungeon and I'm just going to show you, um, I'm going to do the solo, obviously. I'm going to go to this one right here. If you guys don't know about that one, that one is a donut and has a lot of elites. It's like the donut run or whatever. You can... Right. And then you, you're ready. Oh, look. Well, 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 look what we have here. All right. So I'll meet you guys back in the dungeon. All right. I'm going in here. I'm not even going to edit this part. All right. We're just going to run through. Um, I did get, a, I do have an item. <laughs> item that gives me Raven, it's passive, so we have that there. We'll go over the gear later to what I have. I think I went through this earlier, uh, just to do things. Okay, never mind. Oops, I got the wrong button, All right? And then you put up the shield when, when you don't have like any kind of armor. You can actually just keep spamming this. You'd be swiping in between, right? You get spirit back. I'm not going to even need to use the Cataclysm. 
I usually save that for when I see like a leader or something. Like this. <laughs> I swapped the order. I used to have the other one on... Right? And then you pretty much need to rejuvenate. And it just stall for time as your overpower comes back. Right? With your wind shear. You don't have to worry too much about it. <laughs> Trample them. Get out of the way. I, I need to swap these. These are in the wrong order. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me swap these. This one is actually Cataclysm. Oh, there's an elite over there. Yo, let's, let's, let's get it. So much fortify. <laughs> Let's, let's keep it going here. All right, you can get more fortified with trample. This allows you to keep spamming because as you're switching back and forth, right? You get you get spirit. Which is great. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little showcase here. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, a, do that. Get some more spirit. Bam. I have a lot of fortify. Let's get some more spirit in here. Super quick in spirit generation. So you can keep spamming that. Not so bad, right? We're not gonna touch the shrine. Otherwise, it's not much of a showcase, right? <laughs> Drop this for fun. And then once you get the overpower, you pretty much just need to stall long enough to overpower. But you still do a decent amount of damage, like 400, 500. I don't have the best gear right now either. Because if I did have a better gear for this, <laughs> we'll go over gear in a bit. And just... Oh, I missed the trample. Okay. Not so bad. Oh, that knocked me down. Oh, wait, well, get back up. There we go. Trample is trample and the uh, Earthen Borog will allow you to just get back up. You want to be healthy though, because you want that you want the overpower damage. All right. Now let's look at gear. What I have right now is that this gives me earth skill slow. Um, and then this one gives me healthy bubble. Not the best items that I have. Okay, so what I want is that I want that one ability. I think it's in the codex, but it requires you to be it's like part of the story or something. Yeah, right here. You want pulverize to be earth skill. So then you get buff from earth. I believe there's another one that allows you to send your pulverized like shockwave forward. You want that one too. I don't have those. RNG has not been lucky for me. But these are the ones that I have. Um, this give me pulverized uh, ranks, and which is pretty good. And basic skill stuff. Uh, shape shifting. This is very nice because you be if you can get this ability, you can be shifting in and out, right? So you every time you shape shift, you get life. And if you're maxed. You get fortified so you always tend up being fortified which is great because then of that one passive right when you um i think it was that one passive that gives you right here this this legendary affix my passive this is fix while you're fortified your earth skills so this is what power one will provide even more if i had that right so this is like not even the best gear that i can hope for in beta so i have this as the weapon critical chance injured um, this one is why I was like maxing out my spirit before attacking so I get increased damage. It's actually pretty good. It is in the codex too, but I found this um, by default, which is great because it's not minimum. This increases my core skill as well, which is not bad, right? Uh, I think that go in tangent. Do I have that? This one. Attacking basic skill increases that. And then I have a ring that increases my basic skill attack speed, so 
it does look a little bit quicker um but i think the bullet always this this speed it's just that i get to shoot more a lot quicker then uh, i imprinted this just for extra barrier uh, when i'm damaging emily enemy this is actually pretty good so um that's what i would consider but yeah thanks for watching i hope you guys find this video useful um even though beta is pretty much over you can use this for launch like to start things out because i'm enjoying the druid that's gonna be my main uh so hopefully you guys subscribe hit the notification bell etc uh leave a comment any any thoughts complaints i don't know let me know <laughs> but i'll see you guys on launch because i pretty much took the off until next time later days